Hi, Ayaya here. Let's read ABCs of Physics by Chris Ferry. A is for Adam. All things are made of atoms. Atoms are made of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Atoms can combine to make molecules. When atoms smash together, they create a nuclear reaction. B is for black hole. A black hole is a star so dense that not even light can escape its gravity. The boundary where a black hole occurs is called the event horizon. Many physicists believe that a very big black hole exists at the center of our galaxy. C is for charge. A charge can be positive or negative. Charge is the physical property of matter that causes electrostatic attraction and repulsion. Opposite charges are attracted and like charges are repelled. D is for diffraction. Diffraction happens when a wave hits an object. Waves can be made up of different things like liquid, light, or sound. When waves hit more than one object, multiple diffraction events can create beautiful designs called interference patterns. E is for Einstein. Albert Einstein invented the theory of relativity. Einstein is considered by many to be the greatest scientist who ever lived. He made groundbreaking contributions to statistical physics and quantum theory. Ooh, my stomach is growling. I'm hungry. <laughs> F is for fusion. Fusion happens when two atoms collide and create a new atom. For some atoms, a lot of energy is created by fusion. The sun is constantly fusing hydrogen into helium. G is for gravity. Gravity is the force that brings us back when we jump. Gravity causes things to be attracted to each other, like the Earth and Moon. Gravity keeps the Moon in orbit around the Earth. H is for heat. Heat is the transfer of energy from something hot to something cold. Fire is hot and gives off heat to cool its cooler surroundings. The sun is very hot and gives heat to the earth. I is for ion. An ion is an atom that has more or fewer electrons than it has protons. An ion with more electrons than protons has a negative charge and an ion with fewer electrons has a positive charge. Making an ion is called ionization. J is for joule. A joule is the standard unit of, of energy. One joule is the amount of energy released when an object that weighs 100 grams is dropped one meter. 
This is about the size of a large apple falling, falling three feet to the ground. The Joel is named after scientist James Joel, who worked on thermodynamics. K is for Kelvin. A Kelvin is the standard unit of temperature. 80 degrees Fahrenheit is about 300 Kelvin. The Kelvin was named after physicist William Tom Thomas, who later became Lord Kelvin. L is for liquid. Liquid, solid, and gas are the three primary states of matter. If a liquid gets too hot, it turns to gas. If it gets too cold, it turns solid. Water is the liquid form of the compound H2O. Boiling water turns H2O into gas. Freezing water turns it into ice. M is for magnet. A magnet is something that creates a magnetic field. The field pushes and pulls on other magnets and metals. The earth itself is a giant magnet. It causes all compass needles to point north. N is for Newton. A Newton is the standard unit of force. It is named after physicist Isaac Newton. Newton is famous for his laws of motion, which govern the dynamics of matter under the influence of forces. He also invented calculus. O is for optics. Optics is the study of how light interacts with matter. Optics helped with the invention of eyeglasses, cameras, and telescopes. After the quantum nature of light was discovered, the study of optics led to lasers. P is for photon. Photons have no mass and no electric charge. A photon is the elementary particle that carries electromagnetic force, which includes light, lasers, radio, and x-rays. Q is for quantum. A quantum is the smallest unit of energy. A quantum is the amount of energy an electron uses to travel from one orbit to another in an atom. Quantum theory is the study of energy at microscopic scales. Quantum engineers study these effects at macroscopic scales. R is for relativity. The principle of relativity is that some rules of physics are the same for every observer. From this principle, Albert Einstein derived that the effect of gravity is due to a warping of space-time. This theory has predicted many extraordinary things such as black holes, gravitational waves, and wormholes. S is for string theory. String theory is a new theory of physics. String theory combines quantum theory with relativity to explain how the universe works. It is the idea that everything is made of tiny vibrating strings 
rather than particles like protons and electrons. T is for thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is the study of how we can use energy to do work for us. Thermodynamics also explains how heat and temperature are related to energy. A famous law of thermodynamics says that heat cannot flow from something cold to something hot. U is for uncertainty. Uncertainty is when we do not know something. Heinsberg, Heisenberg's, <laughs> Heisenberg's uncertainty principle states that the more we know about where something is, the less we know about where it is going. V is for vacuum. Vacuum is a space that has nothing in it. Even outer space has some particles floating around. The idea of vacuum is useful for thinking about what would happen in ideal conditions to carry out experiments. W is for wavelength. Wavelength is how far apart waves are. Repeating patterns like ripples in water or vibrations on a string are called waves. The distance over which the pattern repeats is called the wavelength. We can hear sound waves with wavelengths as little as one inch. X is for X-ray. X-ray radiation is high energy light that we cannot see. X-rays have very short wavelengths and can go through our skin, but not our bones. This makes them useful for medicine and security. Y is for yttrium. Yttrium is one of the many elements of the periodic table. Each element in the periodic table has an atomic number based on the number of protons in the nucleus. Yttrium has 39 pro protons, so it is listed in the periodic table as number 39. Z is for zero point. Zero point energy is the lowest amount of energy a thing can have. Before quantum theory, it was thought that things could have zero energy. Quantum theory, however, predicts that the lowest possible energy of a thing is not zero, but rather the thing's ground state. This amount of energy is called the zero point energy. Wow, ABCs of physics. Physics is interesting. My goodness. Oh. What kind of things are you going to discover learning things like physics? I don't know, but I love it. And I love reading to you. All right. Ay, 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 out. I'll see you next video, okay? Okay. Bye-bye.